Good evening. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, good evening. Good evening, Manuel. Good evening. How are you today? I uh, fine, thank you. Okay, good. And tell me about your day. How was it? Uh, oh, okay. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? How was your day? Oh, okay. All right. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo ahora? Did you work? ¿Trabajó? Trabajo en un negocio familiar. Ah, ok. You have your own business. Nice. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, business. Negocio. Business. Yes, your own business. Solo business, no es necesario decir. Ex no es necesario decir. Excuse me, no le escuché bien. Word. No es necesario decir word. Um, no, you say uh, I work in in a family business, for example. If you want okay. to use work, I work, trabajo en un negocio familiar. I work in a family business. That's how it goes. All right, what kind of business is it? ¿Qué tipo de negocio? Is it a store? ¿Es una tienda? What is it? If I may know. Uh, Venta de comida. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. So it would be like a mini restaurant, maybe. Or is it only delivery? Es como un restaurantito, un comedor, or, or delivery only? Comedor. Oh, okay. All right, that's nice. That is great. And tell me about the platform. How are you doing with that? Como va con la plataforma? la completé toda solo que hay una unas cuantas preguntas que, que no no puedo porque oh. pongo de una manera y de otra y me sale mal ok if you want we can check si gusta podemos revisar no sé si tiene por ahí a la mano los las preguntas que le faltan las secciones en las que hay que revisar and we can do it Good evening. Hi, good evening, Carlos. En, en, la, en el examen final, en, la, en el examen segundo, más que todo la segunda parte y la primera me aparece. All right, let's check. Let me get to the, to the platform. Okay, section five. The final exam, you said. Uh, what section or what part? In qué parte del final exam, Manuel? In the second exam. Yes, in the final exam. In qué en la parte B sería. Part B. Sí, sí, en la, yes. en la B, okay. en la A, en la A y de ahí la, los que están ya al final, la segunda parte del examen. Ok, so Solo this uno one, logrado con... ok, so this one about listening, we have to listen to the conversation and select the correct answer, it says. So let's try to solve it together. 
A ver, lo vamos a resolver acá todos juntos. So, everybody pay attention and participate, please. So, we get the right answers. Okay, let me just get the audio. Here we go. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party. I look like seven. Yeah, I guess it is. Excuse me? Era el otro examen. El de medio curso, de midterm. Okay. No, el que está después de ese. Oh, okay. All right, give me a second. Yes. All right, let me get back there. So this one is the Manuel. Yes, yes. Okay, all right, so we have complete the conversations and we have to complete the sentences. We do, does, or would. In number one, we have, you like to see a movie tonight. What do we need to use? Do, does, or would? Any ideas? Uh, do. Are do. you sure? It's an invitation. So it would be would. Es una invitación. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Sure. Would. What time does it start? Would you like? ¿Te gustaría ver una película esta noche? Okay, then we have number two. You like horror movies? No, not really. So what do we say here? Do, does, or would? Do. Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Number three, what kind of music? Your friend Ricardo that. like that. That. What kind of music does your friend Ricardo like? Rock and classical, I think. Then we have part two. Yeah, we have to complete the conversations using the present continuous. Okay, number one, how is your sister? It's a question. We need to use the verb study. Is studying these days. Ah, no, is she? Is she, exactly. Okay. Is she studying Study these days? This day. No, she isn't. She work. She's working. She's working. She is working. Number two, is that David over there? Who? And wait. Who is waiting for? Who is he waiting for? Is he waiting for? Okay. And the answer, his girlfriend, Maggie. She? She's coming in, the bus, in on the bus. That is right. She is coming in on the bus. So those are the answers, Manuel. That's how you complete it. There you go. Got it? Um, ¿Tiene it. alguna, otra, alguna yeah. otra consulta, Manuel? ¿Está, ¿Estamos ya? Ok, estamos claros. All right. Any, yeah. any other questions? ¿Alguna otra consulta? Eh, en la 5.11 eh, 
11.11, okay. En esta, en la one y en la four. Eh, sería 5.1 o... 5.11. 5.11, ok. La última. Oh, the changing family. Um, yes, here you have a reading exercise. You get to read the, the article, then answer these questions. Great names of the family members. Type in only the names, not full sentence. Okay. Let me open it. So you say number one and what's the other one? Manuel, number one and? Es la que me sale mal allá con los nombres de los muchachos y all right, um, let's see. We have which children are benefiting from Judy working? So let's try to read. Oh, this is so little. Do you know how to zoom, how to zoom in? Okay. Okay, and let's see. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with her with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay. So that is the reading. Now tell me who's benefiting from Judy's work? I think yes. Emily. Emily is, yes. Anybody else? Josh. And Josh, I believe those are the two. So let's check it. Yes, right, we got Emily and Josh. So that's the answer, uh, mister. <laughs> Any other questions, Manuel? Sí, y la, la cuatro. Eh, de Perú. Okay, uh, it says which family members are doing more housework? So which ones? Can somebody help me with the answers? Any ideas? So here we have, this is Steve. It says, Steve has to help her more with the housework. So Steve is one of them. And we have a Josh, right? He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. So that would be Steve and Josh. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Those are the two ones. Manuel, got it? Yes. Okay, all right, nice. So good evening, everybody, and welcome to our class. We just started by solving some doubts. 
And by the way, does anybody have another question or doubt about the, the work in the platform? Or we, we may just go ahead and, and uh, start with the class. Are you ready to start? Yes, teacher, we are ready okay. to start. Perfect. All right, so let's start by talking about time expressions. Today is our class number nine, and we're going to talk about this topic. So let's see. Yesterday we practiced this conversation and we talked about the interrogative form for the simple present, right? We said that we use two different auxiliary verbs. We use do for the subjects I, you, we, and they, and thus for he, she, and it. And then remember that we start with do or does, then we have the subject. And uh, after the subject, we add the verb in the base form, right? Some examples, do I work in a big company? Do you check your emails every day? And some others. And then we also got to the information questions in the simple present. And remember that we used a um, WH word at the beginning, what, where, who, when, why, or any other. Then we have the auxiliary do or does, and then the subject. And after the subject, we add the verb in the, in the base form, in the infinitive form. And after that, we can add the rest of the sentence or the complement. And yeah, remember, these are mistakes, right? We should not conjugate the verbs whenever we are making questions. We do not say, what does she listen? We say, what does she listen to at night? When does it turn off? When does it turn up, right? So keep that in mind, please. And we also, um, we also solve some practice. We are going to check it now. So do we have a volunteer to read the text over here? Any volunteers? Uh, oh, me. All right, thank you, Maria Elena. Uh, Andrew get, get up early in the morning at about seven, at about 7.15. He takes a shower. After that, he gets dressed and he has breakfast. He has cocoa and sandwich for breakfast. He goes to school by bus. Lesson start at nine o'clock. He has usually lunch at the school. He comes back home about the Three in the afternoon, he watches TV and he does his homework. Finally, he goes to bed at about ten in the evening. Okay, thanks. Um, just here for you to know it. Uh, we pronounce this one as coco, right? That's how they say it in English, coco. And coco. Yes. coco. And remember to also um, pronounce the, the S at the end, right? Gets up. Andrew gets up. Repeat, please. Gets up. Get gets up. up. Gets up. Get up. Gets up. Gets up. dressed. Gets, gets dressed. dressed. Gets dressed. Gets dressed. Okay. Gets dressed. That's pretty much it. Let's check the questions. So we have number one, does Andrew get up late in the morning? What do you say? No, no he, doesn't. he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't, right? He gets up early in the morning at 7.15. And number two, does he have Teacher, something to eat? Tell me. I have, a, you told me that it's better wake up yesterday. Um, no, I mean, both of them are correct. They are just different. So in the morning, oh. for example, um, in the morning you are sleeping, right? Then you wake up. Yes. Then you wake up and then you get out of bed. So that means you get up. That's 
the only difference. Okay, in this wake case, up, is get despertar. up or... Yes, uh -huh. we have wake up, despertar, get up, levantarse. Okay. Yes, so that would be, but um, yeah, in this case, they use get up. So get up is fine. Okay, then we have number two. Does he have something to eat in the morning? Does he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, right? He has cocoa and what else? Sandwich. A sandwich. sandwich. Okay. Sandwich. Number three, does he like cocoa? A sandwich. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He likes cocoa. Number four, does school start at eight o'clock? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because here we're referring no, to doesn't. school, right? No, it doesn't. It starts at what time does it start? Nine o'clock. Nine. Nine. Oh. It starts nine. at nine. And the last one, does he have lunch at home? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Let's continue. And in exercise number two, you had to complete the questions using do or does and the verb in parentheses. So let me see, Norman, number one. Uh, just roll uh, out. Do you, do you drink mineral water? Thank you. Number two, Walter René. Uh, do Sarah and Linda feed their pets? That's good. Thank you. Let's see. Analyze it. Go ahead. Number three. Do your teacher check your homework? Do or does? Your teacher. See? Does. It would be does, right? It's okay. Does your teacher check your homework. There you go. Thank you. Jonathan David, number four. Okay. Do they live in the old house? Okay, excellent. Karen Stephanie, five. Does the cat sit on the wall in the mornings? Yes, that's how it goes. Let's see, Jose Jovito, number five, number six. Number six, does Nina play computer game? Very well. Edilia Roxana, seven. Do your parents watch TV in the afternoon? Mm -hmm, that's right, excellent. Carlos Adalberto, number eight. Do your uh, grandmother answer, answer the phone? Okay, is it do or does your grandmother? Uh, does your grandmother. Yes, very well. Does your grandmother answer the phone? Yolanda Cativo, number nine, please. Does Andy uh, do the shopping? Okay, good. Number 10, Jose Naun. Can you speak up, uh, Mr. We couldn't hear you. Can you repeat it and speak up, please, Josue? Okay. All right, thank you. So we have a uh, Dugari and Ken have a cup of tea in the afternoon. And that's it. Then we had to make some questions using WH and do or does. Number one, where do you go to school? Number two, anybody? Where does John come from? Where does John come from? Number three. Uh, 
How long does it take from London to Paris? How long does it take from London to Paris? Number four. What is number four? Let's see, Glenda, do you have it? Four viewings. Glenda Leal. Can you tell me number four, please? Hello, I just had a little trouble with my internet, but I'm back. Excuse me. And okay, hello. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's continue. We were in number four. So Glenda, go ahead and tell us, please. Uh, okay, where do you play tennis? Okay, where do you play tennis? Number five, what sports does Lucy like? Number six, Hector Jose. Number six, how uh, do they get to work? Okay, thanks. Number seven, why do you how eat so much chocolate? Okay, and number seven is why do you eat so much chocolate? What's number eight? Can somebody tell me, please? What does this machine do? What does this machine do? Number nine. Who does meet on Saturdays? Who does she meet on Saturdays? And number 10, how often? Do you ride your bicycle? Your bicycle. How often do you ride your bicycle? Very well. Now, uh, let's talk about free time activities. Tell me, what do you do in your free time? Let's see, um, Kat and Stephanie, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I listen to music and I take care of my daughter and I make the dinner. Okay, all right, sounds well. Now, Karen, can you ask one of your classmates, please? Glenda Leal. So, Glenda. Right. Right. What, what do you do in your free time, Glenda? Tell us. Okay, okay. What do you do in your free time? Oh, you answer, please, Glenda. Okay, um, I read some books and I play soccer. Oh, nice. You like to play soccer. Great. And, and now choose another classmate, please, Glenda. Glenda, who's next? Uh, okay. And uh, Rivas Ramirez, Ana. Okay. Yeah. Ana Lisette, what do you do in your free time? <laughs> I visit my grandmother and I listen to music. You listen to music, all right. Can you ask another classmate, please? And I said, well, um, Hector Jose, el primero que me sale. Okay. <laughs> So Hector, what do you do in your free time? Um, in my free time, I watch TV. I like to watch series. Okay, very well. Who's next, Hector? And the next one, let me see. Walter Rodriguez. Okay. Walter, tell us about your free time activities. 
club. I like. I play soccer. I like to run. No. Okay, you're very active. Nice. Choose another classmate, please. Mm. Karen. Uh -huh. uh, Karen, Stephanie has already Stephanie. participated. Uh, can you choose another classmate, please? No sé si ya pas ah, Yolanda. Yolanda, okay. Thanks. Okay, I like to watch TV. Mm -hmm. I enjoy to read books. And I walk with my husband and my pets. All right, very well. Can you choose another classmate, please, Yolanda? Dagoberto, um, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I take a cup of, a cup of coffee and I watch TV movies. Okay, nice. Very well, you have very good free time activities. Now, uh, let's continue by talking about our next lesson objective, which is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. So let's take a look at the conversation that we have in this video and then we'll practice it and um, talk about the topic, right? Let me go to the platform. Okay, and this is the conversation. Let's listen to it. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, so that is the conversation. And this is what we're going to do. I want you to practice it in the breakout rooms. I'm going to send you there for a couple of minutes. So I want you to take turns and practice the conversation. We'll have trios or groups of four. So here we go. Let's have some time to practice a conversation.
Ahí está. Ah, sí. compartiendo. Oh. Es de practicar el diálogo. Sí, sí, si quieren empezamos. Este, no sé. Sí. Norma y Evilia. No sé con quién. Si después. quieren comienzo. Ah, vale, dale, dale. Okay, voy a empezar yo también. Bye. You are Bye. Daniel and I am Helen. Si quieren, empiezo. Ah, empiezo. Sí. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's that's that is like when do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight midnight that is late. What do you exactly? I'm a TV announcer. No me sé la pronunciación de esa yes, palabra. Yes, that's fine. Announcer. Ah, okay. I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KMTV. Don't you recognize? Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your job. By the why I am Daniel. Okay. Ahora Norman. Ahora yo inicio. Yo inicio entonces. Have Norman in the Guerrero. Okay. Uh, so, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Um, the Guerrero, your microphone is off. Mm -hmm. Ok, eh, ¿con quién? Norman, Norman, yo no, soy. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, again. Ok. Uh, so, so, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yes, I do. Okay. Really? What time do you to work? Do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Uh, I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on key and TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, very good. Uh, we're coming back in one minute. So I'll see you there. Okay, it seems everybody's back. So let's see, let me go to the conversation. So we practice a couple of words. Everybody repeat please, usually. 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 Jim. 
Jim. Jim. Jim. Really? 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 Afternoon. Afternoon. Late. 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 Midnight. 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 Exactly. Exactly. To be announcer. To be announcer. Weather. 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 Report. To be announcer. Report. Weather report. Weather report. Recognize. Okay, any questions about the conversation? Yeah. Okay, and let's continue by talking about time expressions. So let's hear the explanation and then we are going to talk about it. Let me check. Oh, yeah. I think now it's fixed. Being on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m., we have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night. Months. Years. Examples. We have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay, so that is what we have uh, about prepositions, regarding prepositions or time expressions. Let's, let's explain them a little more thoroughly. So uh, here I have some examples. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. The shop closes at midnight. Do you, do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on 20th November. Where will you be on New Year's Day? I was born in April. He goes to the park on Saturdays. She wakes up at seven. So you see how we use the different expressions, right? We have at, in, and on. 
Now we have specific uses for each of them. Let's start by uh, talking about in. In is used for introducing months. For example, when we say in May, in March, or in April. We also use in for talking about years or introducing years. For example, when we say in 2019 or in 2019, in 1995, in 1845. And another use for in would be the parts of the day. We use in for most of the parts of the day. We say in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. And another thing that we use within is centuries and long periods of time. So that would be, for example, when we say in the past century or in the winter, in the past. Those are the four uses of in. We use in with months, years, parts of the day, and centuries or long periods of time. Now let's take a look at some more examples using in. Can somebody help me to read this, please? My birthday is in April. Thank you. Next one. There was a war in 1997. Very well. Okay, we also have in the past century, there wasn't much technology. I traveled to Minnesota in summer. Your son starts school in August. We are on vacation in July, right? The Titanic sank in 1912. And I got some more. Okay, now the preposition on, how do we use it? We use it when we are introducing dates, as when we say on Sunday, on Monday, or on Thursday. Dates, such as on December 27th, on February 19th, on November 13th. So those are the two uses we have for on. We use on with days and dates. So more examples. I work on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Next example, help me to read it, please, Yolanda. Many shops don't open on Sundays. Okay, good. Got any set? Next one, please. What, what do you do on the weekend? On the weekend. Okay, thanks. Marina Ramos, next one. My birthday is on August 23. 23rd. Okay, thanks, Marina. Walter Giovanni. Walter Giovanni. Okay. And hello, Katia. Hello. Okay, go ahead. I was born um, uh, John once. Sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Next one says my vacation ends on Monday. We're going bowling on Friday night. My brother Jan was born on September 3rd. And we always have a huge celebration on New Year's Eve. Okay, next preposition is at. How do we use it? We use it when we are referring to precise time. We are being really specific about a times, time or a clock time, right? So we would say, for example, at 4.45 a.m., at three o'clock, at 2.25 in the afternoon. So that's the use for at. We use it for talking about precise time. Some examples, it gets cold 
at night. At night. So this is one of the expressions that takes at. Remember that for most parts of the days we use in. We say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we say at night. So don't forget about it. Edwin Gustavo, can you help me to read the next example, please? Edwin Gustavo. Okay, and let's see, Evilia Roxana, can you help me to read? What did you what? do at the weekend? Thank you. Next one, Maria Elena. There's a meeting at 2.30 this afternoon. Thanks, Dagoberto. Next one, please. Eh, aún no me aparece en la pantalla, creo que estoy oh. con el internet. Ok. Ahí está. Jane went home. Jane went home at, at lunchtime. Ok, thank you, Dagoberto. Then we have, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. Next one, Héctor José. The stars shine at night. Thanks. Carlos Alberto. My grandfather doesn't drive at night. Good. And next one is I go to bed at midnight. I'll see you at 7.30. That was messy. The shop closes at midnight. So you see how we use the different expressions, right? Now uh, it's time to practice. Let me check the time. Yeah, we got enough time. So we have exercise number one. We have to circle the correct phrase. Here you have three different options. You select the correct one, right? So we say in Sunday, on Sunday, or at Sunday. You select the correct answer. Then in on exercise two, you have to write in, on, or at. So here you have some blanks, you write the corresponding time expression. Um, do we have questions before we get to the breakout rooms? No, we ready? I ready. have a question. Okay, tell me. Um, can I say in the night? You cannot, you say at night. At night? Yes. Okay. Okay, all right, I'm opening the rooms now and I'm sending the exercises to the WhatsApp group. Here we go. Sí, lo mandó. Hi, I just sent them. Ya lo mandó ahí en WhatsApp. Correcto, ya está en el WhatsApp. Correcto, ya está en el WhatsApp, compañeros. Comencemos. No sé si uno en uno. ¿Podrá presentarlo alguno en pantalla o seguimos nuestros móviles y nos ubicamos en el screenshot número uno? Exercise one. Ok. 
de encerrar en el círculo cuál es la respuesta correcta. ¿Cómo se escribe? Correctos. What is the correct one in Sunday? Number two on Sunday. Number three at Sunday. For me is on Sunday. Igual yo. Okay. Number two. On the evening, in the evening, and at the evening. Tercero, digo yo. At, at, at the, the evening. evening. Mm -hmm. Confuse. Number three. Up um, night, yeah. it okay. night. So, evening would be a part of the day. So, which preposition do we use with that one? In, on, or mm -hmm. at? Which ah, okay. one? You say in, right? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Yes, in the evening. Continue. For present. For present. In the evening. And yes. In the oh, evening. Excuse me. It's for future. I, Perdón, es que no le, no le logré escuchar bien. No sé si me, si me había preguntado algo más. Disculpas Ajá. que el internet está. Ajá. In the evening lo ocupamos para presente. Eh, in the evening would be a part of the day. Sería una parte del día. Eh, sería la noche, ¿verdad? Eh, like tarde, noche, Ajá. we could say. So that's, how we, that's why we use eh, in. In the evening. In. So yeah, it refers to yeah. it could refer to the to the present or yeah, let me think of yeah yesterday evening you could also say that I mean evening is it for the past. Estamos como ah pasado. Eh, puede ser para ambos. No, la palabra no. evening. La puede usar en ambos tiempos, en el pasado y en el presente, pero en sí la expresión in the evening, eh, sí sería presente en la noche, right? So, yeah. Ok. Ok. okay. Number eh, three. Continue, number, number three. Eh, on night, in night, or at night. At night. For me, at night. Sí. Y at night. Number four. Okay. And nine. Number four. On the weekend. In the weekend. At the weekend. On the weekend. For me. In that one, you have two options. You could say on the weekend, which is the one that we mostly use in the American English. And you can also say okay. At the weekend, that both of them are correct. At the weekend. Yes, so both are correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number five. Number five. On the afternoon, in the afternoon, and on the afternoon. Mm -hmm. He say for. Es la misma por la número 4. ¿eh? Dos opciones, la 1 sí, y la 3. Uh, uh -huh. On the afternoon, at the afternoon. Um, not no, no really. es la misma. In that case, we can only say in the afternoon. Use in, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yes. Only, only, only. Okay. Only that one. Uh -huh. Number 6, uh -huh. on the... No, on Monday morning, in Monday morning, at Monday morning. For me, in the morning, morning. Yes, we say in the morning. Uh -huh. See, in the morning, morning is present. Digamos que es tiempo presente, o sea... Se está haciendo algo en la mañana por la mañana. Mm. 
always diferente? Um, no, we say in the morning. Um, nada más que realmente esto de cuál um, time expression o cuál preposition utilizar no está relacionado um, específicamente con el, el tiempo presente o pasado, okay. sino que realmente depende de cada una de las reglas que les acabo de dar. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, usamos at mm -hmm. for specific times. We use in for um, months, we use in for different parts of the day, and so on. Entonces, depende de con qué tipo de información utilizamos cada uno. No, no es precisamente dependiendo del tiempo. No sé si me explico. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, uh, now number seven. On 5 to 12, in 5 to 12, at 5 to 12. For me, at 5 to 12. At 5 to 12. Number A, on February. Number 10, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Ahí sería on the... This oh, of my. my is on, and at cuatro, I usually get up, get up, um, or or I'll pass. A. Sería, Sería at. at. I usually get, get up at half past eight. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. And at cinco, I will meet her. And at cinco, I will meet her on two months. Two if that's a long period of, of time, so we would use in, in two months. In two months. Mm -hmm. It's in. Mm -hmm. in. Yes. Let's say in. In. In two months. We usually have lunch at, at one. No. Yes, we use at with yes. clock time. Mm -hmm. With the clock English on mm. Thursday. On, on Thursday. Uh -huh. On, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on Thursday. My grandmother did in 1987 es la 8 ajá Okay, so that will be all for today's class. We are going to check the practice tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night, everyone. Okay. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.